Hi, in this short tutorial I'm going to show how to create a camera that will follow the head rotation of the character. So instead of just swinging around, it will actually uh, will make the head rotate and make the camera follow the head rotation. Uh, and for that I have uh, loaded in a third person example map and I just brought in the animation blueprint and the character in the same folder because it's easier that way for me. Um, so uh, when we play this uh, map, uh, we'll see that the camera moves, but the head is not moving at all. So the the camera rotation is free um, from the it's not related to the head rotation. So um, let's go ahead inside the animation blueprint since. Uh, the rotation is going to come from in there. Now, actually, let's do something else first. Um, let's take the, the camera boom, remove that, and add a new spring arm. I think the current uh, camera boom, what that comes with the example, is buffed or something. Uh, anyway, so we um, want to take the spring arm and drag up to the mesh so it becomes a, a child of the, the mesh and make sure that the follow cam is a child of the spring arm so uh, take the spring arm again and make sure to find the parent socket and pick the head that we want to attach it to so it's gonna throw it to the side here um, take the location here and zero that out so it's gonna bring it in here so uh, now it's flipped, okay, so I just forgot that we need to uh, flip the camera, uh, I believe it's this one, uh, so you can see now it's rotated correctly. Um, but now I can't, I'm moving my mouse now, but nothing happens, uh, so I need to fix that. Um, Alright, so uh, go into the um, animation blueprint and uh, on the uh, animation graph make a little space for this um, and type in uh, transform modify bone and uh, the bone we want to modify is the head because now we want to rotate the head actually and uh, remove the translation from here and the scale we don't need that inside here so um, for the rotation we want to pick uh, add to existing and keep component space here and then you want to make sure to uh, connect these two it's going to create a cast to from local to component and this one also component to local um, the rotation is going to be driven by a, a, a variable we uh, drag out from this and promote a variable and call this the head rotation and that's actually what all we need to do inside the animation blueprint. Um, let's go ahead and compile, compile this, and uh, close this. So uh, inside the third-person character uh, blueprint in the event graph, we have this standard stuff that you should probably be familiar with. Uh, remove the touch and stuff. We don't need that. So uh, make an event tick and create a function call this the uh, update head rotation and uh, go back to the event graph and make sure to call it like that let's go back in so um, what we want to do eventually is to update the head rotation on the animation in the uh, blueprint so an uh, in, in instance mesh and cast this to uh, third person anim blueprint and on this we have the head uh, set head rotation and that's uh, the guy we want to set eventually so um, connect this one up also and connect this one so this is the kind of the backbone of this um, but we need to uh, feed this uh, a rotation and the rotation is going to come from the um, combination of the control uh, rotation to get the control uh, this one um, this is actually the mouse rotation you can uh, view it like that 
and then we have the actor rotation which is this one so get actor uh, rotation and you can just right click these uh, guys here and split them and uh, split because we want to first take a look at the yaw and uh, what we need as a difference between the control rotation and the axis uh, current yaw rotation and then we want to uh, end up making a rotation for this uh, a rotator for this and it's not going to be this one so control drag this one down to yaw and this one so uh, we can actually test this real quick so now the head is uh, facing the direction of the uh, or the camera is facing the direction of the head rather uh, so this is a good beginning so let's put in the, the pitch and this is going to show a little problem because if we just drag it in here uh, the pitch is actually turning into a roll so actually this needs to go into the the roll pitch needs to go into the roll instead so uh, that works better but the thing is uh, since it's uh, you can really can't really see this but it's inverted so I actually need to invert this one the pitch so drag this out and type minus and uh, drag this one in and control drag this one um, this one oh, come on down here so now we have the inverted value of the pitch so now he can actually uh, look correctly. Um, so uh, now we have the head, uh, the camera following the head rotation. The thing is that he's going to be able to rotate all the way around. So let's get, go ahead and take a look at how to fix that. Uh, in order to do this, we want to check uh, if he is turning too far to the like 90 degrees to his side and minus degrees to his uh, other side but the thing with the these two uh, rotators we uh your values we have so if we drag in from the control rotation uh, you'll notice that he the rotation is going from zero to 360 and um if we take the actor rotation and print that out it's going to go from um, um from zero to 180 and then go switch to minus uh, 180 and then back to uh, uh, zero again so that's actually a problem so we can't just say is this greater than uh, or, or less than um, because it's going to end up like sometimes 400 or something is weird so the way to fix this is to let's go ahead and remove this first uh, and make a little bit more space um, drag this one out and say clamp uh, angle make sure to pick angle and not float um, and then um, replace this one so now we will have um, this one actually is a return clamp angle in the range minus uh, 180 to uh, 180 and uh, we want to type in minus 179.9 uh, not exactly minus uh, 180 because that's it's going to mean he's not going to be able to uh, he's going to clamp it completely um so uh, with that um we can make a check now uh, to say if this is greater than uh, 90 and we're gonna, gonna drag out one other one say is this less than minus 90 and we're gonna make two checks saying branch um this is true uh we make it offset the axis rotation so um um let's see um, we want to offset it by either this or this so we need a, a variable for that let's create a local variable for that call it a local um, actor your offset and make it a float and um, drag, oh, drag this out and say set so if this is true we're going to set this offset to 90 and uh, if this is false, we want to check the other one. And uh, it's going to be this one. And if it's true, as mentioned, we want to set um, this to minus. This offset to minus 90, oh, not minus 900. And um, this is going to end up in, in um, a, a, what do you call it, a desired um, actor 
rotation uh, actor yaw rotate um, yaw because this is only the, the yaw we are looking at. So um, eventually we're going to set this from both of these two, and we're going to set it to the actor's current um, get actor rotation. Um, the yaw of this one, so split this one, take this yaw and add to the not this one, add uh, float to float, uh, and take the um, offset to add. Uh, so it's either going to be this one or this one, and add it to this one. So um, this is going to be the rotation that we want to put on the uh, the actor when we pass uh, either uh, 90 or plus, uh, plus 90 or minus 90. So set actor rotation. And um, the rotation we want to set is going to be, uh, we're going to be, um, let's make this smooth already. So we're going to make a rotate uh, insert. So it's not going to just snap to to this uh, to just add 90 degrees directly. It's going to go smoothly, and it's going to go smoothly from the uh, axis current rotation. Uh, the current and the target is going to be. Um, uh, let's right click this one and split. So we're going to get access to this one. So it's going to be the desired uh, actor yaw. And the delta time is just going to be get float delta seconds. And for the interrupt speed, we're going to put in five because that's going to make it pretty smooth. Um, and since this can also end up in the false, uh, so uh, this from the false branch here, we're also going to drag that all the way down to set actual rotation so it will keep interrupting smoothly. So compile that and save. So now we have a character that can move up, look up and down, and when he passes 90 degrees, he's going to make a smooth turn. Um, okay, and uh, as you see, it's kind of um, shaking right now. So let's add an, another little uh, extra to this one. Uh, by going to the, um, the spring arm and say we want to add um, camera rotation lag to this one, enable that one, and then try and run again. So it still has some uh, shaking uh, on it, but it's it's way better. Um, so uh, we want to take a look at uh, this actually because now we stopped and he's uh, rot uh, rotated still, but so he's not rotated. You can see he stops and then he rotates back to some uh, rotation. And we're going to go fix, go ahead and fix that. And we'll do this by making sure that when we are moving, uh, which is um, something we can read out of this axis value, by saying are we different from uh, zero. Um, so if we are different from zero, we want to make sure that the, actually the character uh, movement uh, orient rotation to movement, we want to set that to this value. Uh, so when we are moving, um, then this will be true, then we will orient the rotation to the movement, but when we are standing still, uh, we will not orient it to the movement. So we also want to make sure that um, um, actually before we make these checks with the, the angles, then we want to make sure that we um, make a little bit space here. Um, want to make sure that uh, we check if we are moving uh, so branch and we only want to do this stuff is if we are actually moving so uh, move this out a little bit and say get uh, set um, get orient uh, rotation to movement and uh, then not if this is uh, not meaning we are standing still then we want to do this stuff and if we are standing still, uh, then we want to set um, the desired uh, actor yaw equal to uh, our act actor's current uh, um, 
rotation. So just get. Uh, oh, actually, it, it, it's going to be um, sorry. It's going to be the control. Uh, Your this one get control rotation. So break that open and feed in your so that's going to be uh, the desired active your so when whenever we are uh, standing still again then this will uh, all these will fail and it will jump down to the false and go in here and make sure that we uh, end up in the correct uh, rotation so now when i'm standing still it's not going to make any adjustments and you can still rotate and look up and down and that's a pretty good um, effect we have here. So if we was listening to music, we go, we're gonna go like oom, oom, oom. anyway. Uh, I hope this uh, will prove useful. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, bye bye.